right, this is part one in built, making the tartine basic sourdough. Uh, this is my starter, and I'm going to feed it. It's a little bit overly old when it separates. It usually separates overnight or in the evening, but this is the second evening. Poor thing, it's hungry. I have a little spatula and a two tablespoon measure. This is actually a coffee-sized scoop. Like you know that it says use scoops of coffee on the package and they sell this at the grocery store and a coffee scoop is two tablespoons which is the same as one ounce. So this is what I use. And then I have my 50-50 flour blend white with whole wheat. It doesn't matter what kind of white and it doesn't matter what kind of wheat. So that makes it easy. So I unscrewed it so I can do this with one hand. I'm not sure I'm going to stir with one hand though. So get it all stirred up. It smells very vinegary and it's all thin and watery because the yeasts have already eaten all of the good stuff out of the flour from yesterday. So it's much, much thinner than it is when you make it if you, after 24 hours and for sure if you go closer to 36. All right, that's all mixed up. Now we're going to throw away all but a tablespoon. So I just go Oops, you didn't even see that. Oh look, there's about a tablespoon left. Yes, that's how I measure it. I go, yeah, look, about a tablespoon. Okay. And then I get my two-ish tablespoons of flour. If you do your flour first, then when you get your water, you have the opportunity to rinse your scoop and you don't have to wash it. Oh, look, it's all clean now. Boop, that's it. And I gave it a stir. I gave it a stir. <clears throat> and, and that's literally it. So I just make sure I got all the flour. And I'll do a better job scraping this down when I have two hands to hold the jar with. Oh, found another dry spot. You can use a spoon. This does not have a uh, don't use metal sort of prohibition like kombucha or whatever. There you go. There's my starter. Good for 24 hours.